Hello everyone, I'm Tony, and we're going to be doing a Lego challenge together today. We are going to be doing our sinking ship Lego challenge. So you're going to need to get a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper, and then a few Lego pieces, however many you think you might need, and five characters, because we're going to make a ship for five different characters to all fit on. I'll explain more in a moment. So our main challenge is to make our ship and to make it float. But how are we going to do that? How can we make Lego float? Let's use our paper and our pencils and let's draw our plans together. So I'm starting by drawing the outside lines of my boat so I know what kind of shape I would like it to be. Then I'm just deciding what type of Lego pieces I'm going to be using on the insides. My plan isn't perfect, but yours doesn't have to be either. I'm just adding in some little circles here so I know what kind of size Lego pieces to look out for. And now I'm adding in my seat because don't forget about those five characters. I'm also adding labels onto my plan so that I know exactly what I'm doing and what to look out for. I've made my plan 3D so that it looks a little bit more like a 3D Lego boat. And there we are. My plan is complete. Here's a close-up of that. Well done everyone, we've done our plans, that means we can get to building. If you want to see a copy of my plan again, I'll pop it up on the screen for you. So let's get started. I've got my characters here. I promise this isn't my boat. I'm going to make a real one with you. And I'm going to go through the challenge with you and make my boat and we'll see if mine floats or not. Here we go, it's boat making time. I chose a big green base for this one and I'm using these long pieces to create the outside of my boats and smaller pieces just to put them together. I'm selecting pieces that I think will fit nicely and create the shape of my boat that I want. The pieces that I'm putting in the middle are going to become the seats for my characters when I try and float it. And those are my end pieces. Here I am putting some sides onto my boat just to make sure that my characters don't get wet. I wonder how yours is going. Is it going well? Do you like your design? Remember, the best thing about Lego is that we can take it apart and try again. If you don't like how it looks, or you want to change the colour or the type of piece, then take it off and change the piece. You don't have to keep it. As you can see from me building, I experimented with lots of different pieces until I found the ones that fit just right into what I wanted. It's all about looking at the shapes and the styles of them and making sure that you have all the right pieces. Now I'm adding in my people. You need to decide if you want your people standing or sitting. For this one, I decided that I'm going to have my people to stand as I think that will help them float much better. It's time for test one. Here we go. What do you think is going to happen? Will it float or will it sink? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is it floating? Little bit. No, that's definitely sinking. That is definitely a sinking ship. Never mind. So that first one didn't work, did it? It didn't float. Let's try again. Let's try building another boat. This time, I'm taking the pieces that I used on the first one and putting them onto a thinner but thicker piece of Lego as my base. So I'm taking all the pieces that I liked and I'm putting them onto my new base. You're more than welcome to try all different ways and different sizes. It might take you a few tries, but that's absolutely fine. Keep trying and trying until you can make it float. The best thing about this experiment and challenge is that you can try and try and try again. This time, I'm putting my people down sitting and I use a lot less pieces. Maybe that will help it float. Let's wait and see. Let's take it to the bowl. It's the moment of truth. Are we going to float? Are we going to float? Fingers crossed. Yes, that looks like it's floating to me. Does it look like it's floating to you? I think so. Two thumbs up here. It worked. My boat worked. Did your boat work? If it didn't, keep trying and trying again until you get it right. Maybe 
Change the size of yours like I did to mine. Change the style. Maybe you should draw a new plan. But if it did work, what worked about it? Was it the size of the shapes that you used? Was it the thickness of them? Or was it all to do with balance? How do we know that our boat is going to float before we put it in the water? Well, we don't really, do we? But that's all part of the fun. So now my five characters who are back on their pre-made boat have got a second one, just in case. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed doing that little Lego challenge with us today. I'm sure I'll see you all again soon. Bye.